Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We have um, something to celebrate today, and so I'm very proud to be here with uh, my colleague and vice chairman of the Committee of Health of the Guam Legislature, Senator Sabina Flores Perez. And we are here today to present resolution number 61-36COR, and to which is relative to recognizing and congratulating Mr. Chima Bakwim on being named as one of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Tuberculosis Elimination Champions of 2021 and commending him for his contributions to expanding TB services, education, and outreach efforts on Guam. So before I read the resolution, I just want to say it has been a very challenging time and we are so honored to be joined here today by uh, Chima's family, who I'm sure has, has uh, experienced all these challenges with him as well throughout this pandemic and, and uh, even prior to the pandemic uh, as we you know, combat tuberculosis on Guam and other in infectious diseases. And uh, we're joined, I'm very honored to be joined today with by the, um, the outstanding staff at the Department of Public Health and Social Services, including Director Arts and Augustine, Deputy Director Lori Gomez, uh, Dr. Suzanne Kenishiro, who was a longtime um, division head over there, or actually, um, yeah, uh, I think we. Anyways, and Dr. Kanashiro, thank you for joining us today. And Dr. Felix Cabrera, of course, thank you very much for joining us today. We're also joined by many others from different divisions of uh, public health, from different programs at public health and social services. Uh, and I know some of you have even shifted around in your capacities due to, due to COVID and you know, our expansion of services that public health has been responsible for. So I wanna thank you all. And thank you, especially for being here today. And of course, our guest of honor, Mr. Chima Bakwim, thank you very much for being here today. And I'm glad you to see you very clearly on the camera today. Thank you. Yeah. It's a different situation. We're not doing an oversight here. So I'm, I'm really very happy to be joined by all of you. Thank you again. And so I'm going to read this resolution. It's not too long, but I really, it's a unique occasion. I want to recognize the all, you know, the accomplishment that Chima has made and and how very proud we are on Guam to, to be honored by his service. So again, resolution 61-36COR was sponsored by myself, to Speaker Therese Terlahi, by my vice chairman, Senator Sabina Flores Perez, and by all senators. Be it resolved by the Committee on Rules of Imina Trente Sais Nalejes Latour and Guaham, that whereas Chima Bakwem received a Bachelor of Science, Sociology, and Anthropology degree from the Imo State University in Nigeria, and a Master of Science, Health Science, International Health, from the Trident University International in California. And he obtained a Master's Certificate in Project Management from Villanova University in Tampa, Florida a certificate in infectious, infection disease and infection control from Allegra Learning Solutions, LLC, through the University of Guam, and a postgraduate certificate in field epidemiology from Fiji National University. And Mr. Bakwam's passion for public health began in Nigeria, where he led a diverse team of healthcare experts who provided counseling, treatment, and palliative care for people living with human immunodeficiency virus, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, and tuberculosis. His continuous work in epidemiology and TB includes surveillance, outbreak detection, investigation and response, and health disparities, as well as working with non-US born citizens and immigrants. Since 2018, Mr. Bakum has been employed as the control program manager of the Guam Department of Public Health and Social Services, Tuberculosis and Hansen's Disease Control Program, where he has been overseeing program planning, budgeting and development. And in this position, he has utilized his skills and expertise to lead the first pilot program in the Pacific Islands and the Micronesia region on the use of mobile technology to improve TB medication adherence using asynchronous video directly observed therapy and 
Currently, as interim administrator under the Bureau of Emerging Infectious Diseases, Mr. Bakwam is tasked with developing key objectives and goals for the new Bureau to include developing staff members' roles, responsibilities, and onboarding process. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, Tuberculosis Elimination Champions Project recognizes organizations and individuals who've made meaningful contributions to end TB in their communities. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted TB control services, shifting staff roles and responsibilities and resources in public health departments and healthcare facilities in order to address the needs of COVID-19 response. In recognition of the way the TB prevention and control community has contributed to the COVID-19 response and how organizations and individuals have adapted to the changing landscape and the important role that they have played in the COVID-19 response, the, CD, the CDC asked for nominations that reflect the important contributions that TB agencies, organizations, and partners have made to the COVID-19 response and showcase the innovation and adaptation an adaption needed, the adaptation, okay, so to showcase the innovation and adaptation needed to maintain TB elimination activities in a challenging public health environment. And whereas Mr. Chima Bokwin was named as one of the 19 TB elimination champions of 2021 by the CDC, and he was recognized for his continued efforts towards providing accessible TB care services through technology and education despite the quarantine challenges brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Committee on Rules of Imina Trente Sais and the Legislature in Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the Legislature in Guahan and the people of Guam, Recognize and congratulate Mr. Chima Bokwem on being named as one of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC Tuberculosis Elimination Champions of 2021 and commend him for his contributions to expanding TB services, education, outreach efforts on Guam. And be it further resolved that the speaker and the chairperson of the Committee on Rules certify the legislative secretary attest to the adoption there hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to Mr. Chima Bakwim and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero Imagahagan Guahan. And again, congratulations, Chima. Thank you on behalf of the people of Guam. Thank you for the work that you've done and thank you for making us proud. Uh, I want to again recognize, thank the director and the deputies director, uh, Lori. Lori Duenas, I'm sorry I said it wrong earlier, Lori Duenas for being here. And I, I would like to ask um, my Vice Chair, Senator Sabina Perez, if she would like to say a few words and then we, we will uh, take it to the director. Uh, thank you, Speaker. I, I think this is such a, this is such a great resolution uh, to celebrate the accomplishments of Chima and Bakwim. And you know, I think we're very fortunate here in Guam to have such an international citizen uh, be here at a time, such a critical time with all his expertise uh, to lead us through, um, you know, what he probably didn't expect to, you know, to be here for was COVID. But he came here for TB and he ended up actually helping us through COVID as well. So we're very grateful and honored for, for your, um, you know, presence here in Guam and, you know, just very, very grateful. And all, also very, so very grateful to the staff at Department of Public Health and Social Services. And like the speaker said, we're not here for um, any oversight. We're here to celebrate. And I think it's good that we, we have this balance. Uh, you know, when we put in the hard work, we also have this opportunity to really celebrate, relax and enjoy the accomplishments uh, that as a collective uh, you have done. So, so do as Masi and thank you so much. Thank you, Senator. Thank um, you. Director, welcome, and if you would like to uh, say a few words, please do. Actually, thank you so much, Madam Speaker and Senator uh, Paris. First and foremost, I, I appreciate the time you've taken to recognize one of our many stars here in public health and social services. So yes, we're very honored and pleased that we have Mr. Mbakwin with us. And of course, Chima, your success um, as our champion we have to take a moment to also thank your family and your wife, Amaka, who we finally know as Amaka, his wife, Mrs. Amaka, is with us today. Thank you. 
for your support of Chima and all the work that he does for us. Uh, Chima, in the height of your response and in your continued engagement in the height of our response as a department, which we continue to do in response to our public health emergency and the pandemic of COVID-19, through your leadership and the support of your team at TB, you've accomplished the work that needs to be done. You found ways to provide the service that the face of COVID-19 has changed and you responded in a very proactive and positive way where you're still able to get that service out. And so your innovation, your ability to have that service accessible today is a, another mark from the Guam legislature of the Guam's community's appreciation of the work and leadership that you bring to Guam, to the community and to those you serve. So really just want to say congratulations. Um, you're a champion. We're very proud to be in your company and we hope that we can uh, look at more championship titles that you could have with your leadership as our incident commander and our acting chief public health officer. So really congratulations Chima and to the family and all the family of public health and social services here this morning. Thank you for joining us on this moment to raise one of our colleagues, one of our staff. And so Cecil Masi Chima for the work you do for the people of Guam. Thank you, Director. Director, is there anyone else who would, you would like to ask to give remarks before we ask Chima himself? Yeah, you know, I, I like to, she doesn't even know I'm gonna ask you, but um, maybe a little personal note from Mrs. Mbakwin about all the work Chima has done and, and the co continued commitment. If I could ask Amaka to, to express her appreciation and Amaka, I wanna take this moment to thank you for the long hours he puts in working on COVID and TV all at the same time somehow throughout the day. So we could have to hear from the family and I think it'd be a, a really good moment for them. That would be wonderful. Is that possible, Amaka? If so, please turn on your mic. Yeah, and, and please. Yeah, um, thank you, our speaker, um, director, um, DD1 and all, all the public health teams and, and family members and, and to my wonderful husband. I just want to say thank you so much for um, just allowing us to be part of the, the response. Um, my husband is a, has been, is a very passionate person, totally dedicated, and I see it every day. Um, all I can say is I'm happy to be part of this, both from the CDC side and from, from the home front. Anything he wishes, we're here to support. And um, with God's help and, and continuous blessing, we're going to do more, more coming from him, more coming from his team, and more coming from our public health as a team. And together, we, we are all going to be very um, well taken care of here in Guam. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you very much. And again, thank you to Chima's family, Susan Masi, and to you for all of your work as well. And, uh, I guess Chima now, I was going to put all your colleagues on the spot, but uh, I, I'm gonna give you the microphone now, Chima. And uh, like, please just tell us how you get through these times, this time, this, how you have gotten through this type of uh, response. It's been so intense and really uh, not any breaks. So, but congratulations and thank you, but your microphone's yours. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker and Vice Chair, um, the Director and Deputy Director, um, Dr. Kenishiro, and everyone that is here today. I, 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 I remember clearly how I, I made the decision to, uh, to come into public health to support. Um, we moved to Guam, and considering the um, inconsistency in the military family about um, where to stay and how long we have to stay. I, when we moved to Guam, I didn't want to get a job because I wanted to continue and see if I can get a second master's or a doctorate degree while we wait for the next assignment. But um, I, I, I walked around the island and I, I practically fell in love with the island. So I, I spoke to my wife and I said, I, I think I can contribute something to the island, you know, with my experience. And coming from um, sub-Saharan Africa, Nigeria, 
which is um, a third world country with a lot of health challenges. And um, for all my time in Nigeria, I played a very significant role in, in, in public health in my state and the neighboring states. So I started looking for volunteer opportunities at public health and I couldn't find a volunteer opportunity online. So I spoke to a few people and they directed me to public health. So I, I went, I found a building and um, I had my son who was three years old. So I had him in a stroller and I walked into public health looking for the HIV AIDS office. And I met um, Bernie Schumann and we had a long discussion about the data for Guam. And I said, I asked her if it was okay for me to come in once in a while, you know, to contribute to what they were doing. She was open to it. And then she introduced me to Ms. Josie O'Malan. She asked me a few questions and said I should go meet Estelle Ada and talk about a grant that they had about hospital acquired infection. So I had that conversation and then I went home. So they offered me a temporary position to work at public health. So when I came in, I loved what I was doing. I became very engaged and um, looking at the, the hospital data for Guam actually told me a lot about what was happening in on Guam. And being that I have actually worked in very worse environments, it was easy for me to articulate how to become part of the solution to the, to the challenges that we had on the island. So I, I started off as the as a um, program um, special uh, program coordinator for the healthcare acquired infections. And then there was an opening for the TB program. So I, I act actually applied for the job because I told my wife that, she, my wife told me that she was getting ready to retire. So she said, what is our next plan? Now is your turn. What do you want to do? I said, I think I found where I want to spend the rest of my life. She said, where? I said, Guam. She said, I thought we had a plan to either move back to Europe or move back to Africa where you can um, use your, your talent and your training more. I, I said, no, I think this is it for me. So that was how I applied for the job. So when I, when I applied for the job, I got, I got picked up. So the first thing I did was to look at the data that was available for TB on the island. And I said, this is, this is a problem that can be solved but I'll need partnership, I'll need uh, support. So I, I spoke with the TB staff, which, and one thing about the TB staff was when I joined, there was a lot of inconsistency because of um, um, lack of direct leadership at that point. So there was a lot of things that were not in place, but I started off by trying to, to set up a team. And that is one of my strong points, you know, team building. So I brought in a team gave them objectives and pointed them into a direction and that was how the journey started the team stood behind me the team stood up to work with me so we had the first chance at solving our major problem i looked at how much it cost the government of guam to do directly observe therapy for patients it cost more to to provide services to someone than the cost of the medicine so I started looking at was to uh, I started looking at what solutions that were that were in place. So I spoke to my CDC project advisor, and then we agreed that the plan I had was something that we could put in place. That was how we started the pilot program for the directly observed uh, video directly observed therapy. And there were a few states in the U.S. that were that were actually doing that, and there was none in the Pacific. It was a huge venture for me and it was a huge gamble considering the fact that the directly observed therapy was the gold standard all over the world for TB treatment. But I saw an opportunity to make it to, to do it better and the chance I had was to, to go that route and also release my staff from the burden of driving around the island and focus on education for patients and also contact investigation so that we can find more cases and treat more people and see if we can eliminate TB on the island. Then here comes COVID. When COVID came, people, uh, TB was, was, was drastically in, uh, affected all over the world because of lack of service and directly observed therapy that was the gold standard. Everybody scrambled to look for some new initiatives. 
But but Guam at that point was two years old in this initiative. So we did not stop service. With the help of Dr. Manglonia and the team, we actually looked for better ways to modify our already existing system by actually adding other forms of, of, uh, of, of options for our patients to get treated for TB in the middle of the pandemic. So that was how we were able to support um, our patients. We actually um, completed treatment for most of our patients during the, uh, 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 um, during the pandemic and also had new patients who we got onto treatment. So I, I, I am very grateful and I'm very happy to be part of the Department of Public Health and, and the island of Guam and also working with, with, with this team. I, 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 I can attest to my discussion always with Dr. Kenishiro. We, we, it, is, it is interesting that we meet ourselves in the hallway and she always say, how do you get this done? And I ask her the same question, how do you get this done? Because I know how much you have on your plate. So her asking me the question always, always inspired, inspired, inspired me. And then here comes in the, the, the new director and, uh, and, and, the, and the deputies. And it's interesting that um, the, the director had no prior experience in infectious disease. But in the meetings, I always watch him. I, I realize his, his, his hunger for knowledge, his hunger for information. And I watched him pick, pick up so much in such a little time. And considering the fact that he did not know what he walked into, and at the same time, the the level of the the, the level of uh, um, um, cases at the point that he took took over, so it was like throwing him in, into the middle of the battle. But he depended on us, his team. He relied on us. He he trusted our judgment in driving the in driving the the response, and then. And then for, for, for the speaker, I, I, I remember all those times we had to face you, you know, all those tough questions. And um, I wish you know what, go, what goes on behind it. There was a lot of preparation. There was a lot of questions asked. And um, the director made sure that we had answers to the questions before we faced you. And, and, and your leadership was very impactful because <clears throat> most of your questions was on what kind of support, where do we need support, how do we move forward. So notwithstanding that I did not look forward to those sessions, but I always left it knowing that I have support of your leadership to do more. So this is a situation I found myself. I, I really love what I do. I, I, I appreciate the community I am in, and I'm very op optimistic that we can get through this, we can get through more, and then, considering the fact that in the past five to six years I have lived on Guam, we, we've not had an epidemic. And, and, and I, I, I say this because it is public health doing public health. The pandemic was not brought by Guam. We, we internally, we have a good system that is, that is working, which we are trying to, which we are trying at our very best to, to better, to make better but the, the pandemic actually showed some, some challenges that we had that we did not know about. But it's an eye opener for us and um, with the support of the administration, with the support of the, the legislators, and, and most especially with the individuals who work at public health, their commitment, their, their focus, and, and their tireless effort. I, I, I am glad to be part of this. I would remain part of this. My commitment is to public health. I don't know any other thing about outside public health, and I would make sure that with the support of my family and everyone here, that I will continue to make sure that I play my role in keeping the island safe. Thank you very much, and, and sorry for my long speech. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Shima. Yes, thank you so much for all your service. And I loved your remarks because, uh, you know, it just helps us to understand the motivation that's behind all the hard work that, that not just you, but all the public health has been putting in. And I love the title of your award, uh, champion, elimination champion, TV elimination champion. <laughs> you know,
know, on Guam, we like to make nicknames. So we're going to maybe nickname you over there or over here. <laughs> champ. <laughs> You're going to be our new champ. But anyways, again, to everyone who has worked with Chima, part of his team, part of the public health team, we can't, you've done, you have led us through all of this. You are continuing to lead us. Even after the pandemic, we are relying on you to keep our community safe to do uh, in all each of those programs what you are you know, signed up to do. And I know that those are all tough tasks. I mean, the elimination of disease, the prevention of disease and the monitoring of disease, they're all tough tasks, uh, even without COVID. So I just wanna thank you again and, um, and let you know that we recognize your work and we, we very, very much appreciate it. And again, congratulations, Chima, congratulations to all of public health. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. I will end our program for today, Sidus Masi, and take care of yourselves. Be safe. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.